The first thing on your calendar is today at 8 a.m. If we look at the landscape, companies are either pro-privacy. We want to make the best product in the world for customers. Or they're not. I understand the frustration. I'm talking about drawing a line in the sand, dude. They're paying us to make those choices. Their whole business is built on tracking you. Hey, Google. On aggregating your data. Broadcast breakfast is ready. Broadcasting breakfast is ready. Come and get it. I mean, this is crazy. So in general, if we look at the landscape, companies are either pro-privacy or they're not. And let's look at the most famous. If we take Apple, they have a massive pro-privacy stance to the point that they take out TV adverts in countries to tell people that they care about your privacy, they care about our privacy. But remember, just five or six years ago, these guys were selling and offering advertisers the exact same tracking that Facebook and Google do. In fact, it was called iAds. It's mobile advertising. We're building it right in to iPhone OS 4. We think most of this mobile advertising really sucks. Um, and we thought we might be able to make some contributions. So Apple evolved and they pivoted to reposition themselves to be privacy focused, but they did that as a competitive advantage. It wasn't always the case, and that's fine. That's cool. I think it's a good thing. But then if we look on the other side, we've got companies like Google who really do not care. If a person didn't know what voice and conversations when using Google Voice products. Uh, yes. We only record when they initiated with uh, OK Google and then say the terms after. Their whole business is built on tracking you, on aggregating your data, on monetizing your data. And they do a few things to suggest some posturing that they care about you and that they want to help you, but they really, really don't. And right now, when I look at the industry, there are more companies on this side than there are on this side. And where Generate land, very, very simply, is we just believe that people should have a choice on a B2B side with our corporates, they're all very, very concerned about heading into a cookie-less world, so a loss of their first-party data and a loss of information. And they're saying, how can we legitimately now access that data we're going to lose? And the answer is very simple. It's by having a relationship with the consumer. And if you don't have that relationship, you need to partner with someone that does. If you are happy to be tracked and for companies to sell everything you do, that's cool, carry on as normal. If you want to stop it, then you can use some of the privacy-focused companies. That's cool too. And for us, we just build products that give people this simple choice. We say, look, if you want to stop companies from tracking you, choose privacy mode and we'll stop everyone. Or if you'd like to earn from your data, if you're okay with the idea of your data being anonymized and it being used to create value, then we'll do that for you. If you choose rewards mode, we will anonymize your data and we'll get to work to try and create value from it. And the bigger we get, the more value we'll be able to create. And the reason for this is simple. An individual's data on its own, one person's data on their own, is worth close to zero. A thousand people's data, that's a bit more valuable. And a hundred thousand people, more valuable still. And a million, now we're talking, now we can create real value. So that's what we're doing with Generate. We're bringing people together. We're building tools and technology that empowers people to control and to earn from their data. And by doing that, as we grow, we can build more value from your data. And that means we can give more back to you. <laughs> what was it? Great.